guys sorry it's been a while since i made a video i want to show you a stock 125 piston versus a high compression 125 piston you see the dome it's got a dome it's got valve relief on the intake exhaust your stock one is flat no uh ifs ands or buts okay so this kit comes with your piston piston pin your rings, they are labeled. Uh, your directions is in Japanese, so good luck with that. But you can tell how they recommend clocking the uh, piston ring, so which is very helpful. Uh, I'm just going to run the, the clock from the standard service manual. You got your head gasket, you got your base gasket, and you got these aggravating C clips here. But uh, that's it. Pretty simple there. And. This should make a difference of about one to maybe two horsepower, maybe more. Um, but it's going to make a big difference here. And I'm going to show you guys how I install it. I don't have the head back yet. I'm getting it custom ported uh, with bigger valves and everything. So we'll just do a basic 125cc piston install on a stock jug. So give me one minute to get set up here and I'll show you guys how it's done. Alright guys, so here's the directions here, and it shows you how to do your lower rings, and it shows you how they're turned. Basically, uh, I guess 45 degrees from each other, I, I'm not sure. It, it does show it on the diagram here, so it says you want your EX to face this way, alright, that's your exhaust port, and your first ring is going to go here. Your, uh, yeah, so basically you're just turning it as you go down the list here. And I got some oil. I'm just going to dip a ring in oil each time. But here's your bottom ring, waffle or oil ring, top ring. And then you have one that has graphite. That's your second ring. And they have little numbers on them. I know you can't see them. And then your chrome ring is always your top ring. That'll be your compression ring. So... Give me one minute here. It, it says 30 to 90 degrees is what you're turning them. So, and there's like a window of room you have to do it. So, let me go ahead and put this E ring on here. So, you kind of have to do these at the same time, but I'm just going to lightly coat them. Just, uh, just so that way they're, they have a little bit of friction. No numbers on these. So that's pretty handy. And just be careful not to break them. Rings are very easy to break. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and set it down here. Because last time I tried to put one in and I couldn't until I had them all ready to go in. So, so that one's there. Remember I got to turn it. So I'm going to go ahead and pop it in the ring here. I'm going to turn it right here. There's the gap. I know it's hard to see. And that's pretty close to being what they're wanting. Now you have your waffle ring here. And you want it to kind of... You want it to set together. So like that. So go ahead and coat it just a little bit. Get a little oil. I mean, it never hurts to oil the rings just a hair. This one's D, so it's going to go pointing this way. You see how you can't get them all to fit down in the hole? What you got to do is you got to take them out of the groove. So I'm going to set this one here. I'm going to pop this one out and move it down.
Okay. Now, I'm gonna take my O ring. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in place. Okay, and I'm gonna slide the groove till it's there, lines up with the EX. Okay. Take my uh, top ring that goes on top of them. Oil it just a hair. All right. And this one goes. Over here. Okay. So. Okay, I got that one in. Now, your bottom ring, see if we can slide it back in without breaking anything. The rings are just so tight. There. Got it, turn your piston back. Rings lined up like it's supposed to be. Okay, now we got our second ring, which is B. B ring is this one. There's the writing. That's your graphite ring or whatever you wanna call it. And it's gonna go right here at the top. So, be very careful, move it down, okay, line that one up, that's perfect, well it don't sit in there too good, I'm going to have to squeeze the crap out of that ring, huh? Okay, now the A ring is going to go right here, and you probably can't see it, but it's got little bitty letters on it, so just go ahead and coat it, be real careful with these, you can definitely break a ring, easier than you think. Okay, that's her. All rings are on the piston now. Let me clean my hands off. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and slide the piston into the cylinder before I mount it, because it does make it easier, okay? So give me one minute here. I gotta get my stock cylinder out and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I got my cylinder here. I went ahead and cleaned all the old gasket off the bottom. If you have any residue left, go ahead and clean it off. It's not going to hurt. Uh, I would recommend wiping the cylinder out as well. Just kind of look down in there. Debris free. Go ahead and take your oil on your finger. And just kind of coat it. You don't want a dry start, whatever you do. And just coat it enough because remember you're going to be sliding the piston in just far enough. Now, if you pay attention here, the timing tensioner is up top so you know your exhaust is going to be on the bottom. So take your piston, okay? Line all your rings back up. All right, I got all my rings lined up. I'm going to compress them. EX is going down. And this is the, the tricky part is you want to 
get your rings to fit down in there the best you can. <sighs> Almost. Well, I got everything except that top ring. And it, I'm going to give it a little wiggle and just kind of say a prayer. There it is. Okay, now we're in. All the rings are in. Just kind of wiggle it out just a little bit if you can. Okay. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Now you got to get these little E clips or C clips or whatever you want to call them. They are a pain. Oh my lord, they're a pain. And next time I should have just threw one in there, but I didn't. So you got to get it in there. And I'm not sure how I'm going to show you guys. Maybe I can. I got an idea. I will slide this jug up here. And do it from there. Okay. These are, this is the most pain in the butt part of doing any type of bore is getting these little stupid little clips in. So you want to start one side in and then you want to turn it. So go ahead and get your groove in there. Keep turning it. That went right past it. Watch this. I got it in. I'm gonna take the piston pin and I'm gonna push it and it should lock it in place. So, You hear it click? Piston pin is locked in place. You see how I got the uh, opening facing up? You definitely don't want it facing. You just don't want it facing where it'll pop out of the groove. And then double check everything. But yeah, I mean, I'm pushing down on that uh, pin. It's not going anywhere. So that's it. That's I told you that was the hardest part of the whole setup was getting that clip in there. Now, what you want to do is you need to go ahead and spray your base gasket. I'm a big fan of preventing uh, leaks, so take your gasket, make sure you don't have any oil on your fingers. And spray it with silicone spray both sides or you know what just do one side if you do if you do this side right here whenever you remove the jug it'll stick to the jug makes it very easy to take it apart and that's what I'm gonna do okay I've got it hit with a copper spray so you just want to flip it over it's gonna be real tacky well flip it over the right way Normally the uh, facing on the gasket goes toward the top end. Line everything up. Just tap it on. Okay, that's her. Now she's 
tacked and ready to go. Okay, so go ahead and get your cylinder ready. I'm going to take you around the other side, it'd be easier. Just excuse the mask, I still haven't cleaned the garage because I always have my bikes apart. Okay, that should do it right there. Alright, so take your cylinder. Make sure you've cleaned this. I have, it just looks bad. Clean it a few times. It is clean. Make sure you have your dowel pins in over here, in this corner. Now, here's the hard part, is you gotta, you gotta put this piston pin back in there. Alright, so just add a little more oil to it. Maybe turn this a little bit. Oh, turned it too much. Okay. Okay, now here's the fun part is you gotta there it is. Okay. Piston pin is in. Now you got to work with that other little devilish E clip, okay? So please, 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 stuff stuff in your engine. Whatever you need to do to keep yourself from dropping a circle clip in there, make sure you do it, okay? So you got this other little devil here. Grab your little needle nose. Make sure you pushed your pin all the way through. I put a little more oil down on that cylinder just because I didn't put any in the, the top. All right, now you can slide your cylinder back on. Line up your dowel marks. chain to go through there. Okay. Now it looks lined up to me. quick tap just to flush it up there okay I give it a little love tap there it's in let me put it top dead center and let's see how much uh, piston is sticking out Too far.
Okay, that's her. Pretty close to the edge. Uh, I'd say, I mean, that'll work. Got a little bit, you can see just a little bit of the dome on it. But that's as far as I can get, boys. I'm waiting on getting my uh, head back. I'm doing 24 intake valve, 24 exhaust valve, and a 25 intake port and a 25 exhaust port. So I'll get, I'll keep you guys posted, but yeah, I'm very happy with the Kotaco high compression kit so far. Uh, the only thing I would like is for them to change the uh, circle clips to E-clips, just because it's a little easier for the install. But still not that bad. I mean, and they give you a head gasket too. So you really can't, you really can't argue with that, you know, head gasket, everything for uh, less than a hundred dollars ship. So I'll take it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to go ahead and put my dowel pins in there and put the head gasket on it and just wait for the rest of the parts. As always, please like and subscribe and uh, have a good one.